I'm even a little concerned about the damage tools Roll that Enigma with no has. save either. This could be something that they just very easily snowball forward, but this could be our first blood here. It's Epileptic Kid going to get nice and close to mind control. Gets a lucky ensnare, but it wasn't really needed, to be honest. Ein, slightly favored in net worth, and it looks like they're going to try and make a play here for the outpost. GH, he stopped yeah. here for a moment. Save. He can stop him again if he wants to, but the Primal Roar, it's going to be there. They do manage to get the outpost. It's going to cost them, though. A lot of heroes are rotating in. Save is going to be the first one to die unless this Nightmare can actually bail him out. Turns around and nails Kuro. Getting that kill first before he goes down. Mind Control is going to be run over by FN. And uh, much to Weeha's glee. He blasts it away. GH is now going to turn that Fiend's Grip onto Ayn, re-solidifying the fact that Ayn goes, yeah, I screwed up. <laughs> That level one sun strike probably not even worth the mana for Weeha. <laughs> yeah, seriously, they are gonna catch him with the lasso here. Pick up GH and maybe run down Kuro as well. Now he does manage to steal Firefly, but couldn't really get away. It looks like Kuro's gonna be bumped around enough that he is unlikely to escape. The heal is uh, not gonna be enough to outdo the damage. Playing a very slow paced game, even though they're up on kills, they just can't push out at all. Miracle goes for the kill onto Ein. Oh, nice dodge at the uh, adaptive strike. Now he's going to turn around and fiend scream up. Fortunately, Weeha is there, but there's an Echo Slam. Nailing the Invoker down. Still, the chase goes forward. Miracle is able to finally kill Ayn, the hero kill that they were looking for this entire time, but at such a cost. Three heroes are going to go down on the side of Nigma. Queued up with the Ogre Axe. And there Epileptic is. gets hurt. Tornado EMP, everybody else behind up. Left to get another wow. nightmare that dodges the Ethereal Blade shot. He's primal roared up. Does he have an opportunity to get off his ultimate? He's going to be chain stunned into the token. He's now the feet script goes off and he finally gets it off. He doesn't even need he just goes down immediately. An epileptic kid, well, he's probably going to have to pop it now. The Necronomicon's going to be able to finish him off. Otherwise, he is able to stay alive. Kills the Necronomicon minions. FN does manage to chase down mind control. And they're looking to be able to slow down Miracle as well. Miracle. He can morph up to strength as much as he wants, but there is far too much damage. They're going to echo Sam to make sure he doesn't get out to the river. Smoking for a third time here and getting aggressive. The last two attempts have not gone well for them. This one, they pop a ward inside the base. Go for FN. He turns around, pops his BKB exorcism, looking to be able to get that kill. Yule Scepter to be able to stop the TP away while Troll is kited around by Mind Control, but eventually he'll be run down by DM. A buyback here from Ayn to make sure that everything's going to be okay with this fight. And it should just be easy pickings from here. There's some kind of stun set up into the E-Blade. Death Prophet may not be able to react with the Yules. Nice smoke. Smoke got a break here. They spot the Rubik, not Miracle's Morphling that's farming. Now, they can still catch up to him, though. The Tornado intercepting four, but it's DM, who is a way ahead of everybody else and managed to grab him up with Lasso into the Fiend's Grip. Feels like a little bit early. Maybe just feeling like exorcism is the okay. key spell. Yeah, it could be a good opportunity, especially if they jump onto this Earthshaker first. A big pick off with the Bane yeah. being a secondary kill here. The two Great supports tornado. down. Now a tornado that catches two. A beautiful one that is going to be able to slow down DM. Probably get him caught in the E-Blade combination for Miracle. Doesn't need it. Instead, he just right clicks him down. Epileptic Kid pops his BKB. Smoke up from Virtus Pro. Prodigy side. Epileptic Kid, he runs right into him. They managed to get the lasso, though, onto the Invoker. They immediately Bissa played him. It looks like he's going to die. Nice and quick with Miracle trying to jump in to be able to save the Invoker, but he was met by safe. Such quick reactions from Virtus Pro Prodigy gives them the advantage in this team fight. Nigma are forced to fall out retreat. They've lost the Invoker, and Kuro, who's still stuck inside the pit, may get out. Gets the high ground. Some of his team is here. Fisher block from GH, but Fisher block from save. And Kuro will finally die. Two dead. Jump in. Try and steal it. My control. Looking to be able to make the play here. The oh, he got, oh he got the Aegis! The stolen Fisher yeah. from GH stunned up every, everybody from Virtus Pro. He actually got the Refresher Shard as well as the Aegis. Nice. Stop Virtus Pro Prodigy from going high ground. It's not looking like it. He's got the leveler. Save. Leads out with a Fisher on to two. Jump forward by TM. Gets Telekinesis right away. He's been caught. Primal Roar goes in behind the tier threes. A nightmare stalls up for a second, but DM is still going to die. This kills Prodigy's push. In fact, if anything, and maybe some additional kills, they're going to Sunstrike, try and get some vision here. Turn around, though, from Epileptic Kid. Looks to be able to quickly blow up GH. They managed to use the Ethereal Blade to buy him some time here, but he's going to come back down into a world of hurt as the BK beat up Exorcism Death Prophet. Pushes up to the high ground with Epileptic Kid. It doesn't last for long, though. One buyback is enough to chase them away. They, that may incentivize them to try and make a play here. 
jump forward. Once again, DM popping his BKB, looking to find the initiation. The end disc actually allows GH to survive a little bit longer, but he makes sure he dies because he has no buyback. They know it too. Morphling, he's been caught up, chain stunned up by the Earth Shaker, and he goes down. Does have a buyback though. Epileptic Kid has already blown his ultimate here. They're going to go next for Kuro. He's trying to just push forward. Does manage to root up the Invoker. Kited round by the Ice Wall. Just continues to push through. Gets a bash. A hex up now onto the Invoker. Invoker dies. Another buyback. Three of them going through for Nygma. Can they finally turn this around with this many numbers? Surely they can win a fight. Miracle trying to finish off Ayn. Finally does manage to do so. The Epileptic Kid though. They've got to be able to kite him up. He managed to miss the blade up. Oh, that strength. It doesn't seem to matter. Miracle drops so low, but he does barely get away with the waveform. But now the Scythe being used up on the Invoker underneath the Tier 4s. He will fall. No buyback for him. It's going to be up to my control. It's going to be up to Kuro. And it's going to be up to Miracle. Still healing up in the fountain. They're trying to finish up DM here. But it looks like they stretch a little bit too far. Kuro. Ranged bash. Earthshaker jumps him. Miracle. Just now getting up to full health. But now it's a 2 versus 5 with the Tier 4s under Assault here. And a Glyph to try and reset and see if they can find an opening here. They just don't have the answers for this troll. It's kind of got to that point where he's just too farmed to fail. Even when his BKB was down, he still had the support from like the Lotus Orb of the Death Prophet getting rid of some silences. Popping his BKB, his Satanic is up in three seconds time here. Maybe a small window, but they jump first. They immediately grab on a miracle. Long range Fisher into the scythe, a chain stun combination that will end the game. Verdes Pro Prodigy take game one. But a farmed Morphling will be problematic. Yep, they have to farm. So right. no creep for Kuro makes this lane difficult, but they found safe. Roll back in, still level one. Uh, Fire Spirits is coming back up, but it looks like that Fairy Fire is not going to be enough to save him. Now, the Fire Spirit still doing some damage to GH, but it looks like they're going to be pushed away. Miracle might get in front of Ayn here. Ayn in some trouble. Brain Sap turns on to Curl. Roll in from the Earth Spirit. Nails him, but it gets him killed at the same time. An Epileptic Whoa. Kid. Because yeah. right now, it's going uh, quite well for them. 9-0 and zero for Miracle. Even when uh, the supports are just having a battle, which we're going to see Curl probably go down here. They turn on to save as best they can, but this is just not an aggro Chilean that is working out for Nygma whatsoever. He's going to roll the opposite direction than they expected. Rolls downwards. The Prodigy is winning. Bottom lane. More aggression coming out. He's so bad if Miracle dies here, but it looks like he's going to get away. The roll in actually hits Ayn instead of Epileptic Kid. Which I think GH was hoping to surprise and bring him down quickly. Ein, though, maybe a suitable kill is that last shot from the Enchantress. Kuro. He kind of quickly realizes, eh, this isn't really going to work. Kuro, those heals, magic stick, keeps him alive for now. Ein wasn't able to get close enough. Save tries to go for the dive away. A nightmare comes in, but that's not certainly going to save him. As uh, now Ein could potentially get chased down. Looks like we hob. Not into Necro 3. GH is going to get found here in the jungle, so. Quick silence. Roll onto yeah. the Death Prophet. Gets the other side of him, but can't get away from that Spirit Siphon unless they back away from that Spirit Siphon. The and Supernova Vicious goes egg. out, see if they can burn out GH, and it is enough to kill him. Okay. Certainly he dies. We have will catch GM's axe, but not commit. Even if they burn him out of mana, it's still a good way to kick him out of the fight here. Ayn, he's going to go for the Fiend's Grip on a GH, knowing that Kuro can't actually stop it here. And Ayn, he's tanking up. He's survived for a while. Throws out the Nightmare to make sure he lives. The two supports are dead. Now it's a question of whether or not Weeha's going to get away, but I don't think so. Yules is there from FN, and a call was ready to go from DM at any point in time. FN, if you take some time to farm here, he's going to be found. He's going to be caught. GH doesn't land the roll. and take away his Van Brace. Oh. I think Close. FN grabbed it just He's in still time. healing. Nice. Got no backup. And it was VP Prodigy making almost the same move. They smoked to take over the enemy jungle off of their carry's item timing. But the difference is they had three heroes. I feel like, again, Death Prophet should be playing with the team. Doesn't do so because Exorcism on cooldown. And Nygma take it back. Oh, fast shot. Is that enough to be able to kill Miracle? He's down to about a third of his HP. They're looking to finish him off with the Fiend's Grip. They blown everything they have. The Supernova is now going to explode. DM, can he get the chop? Miracle's still alive. He pops his BKB now. He's trying to fit him off with the Phoenix right click. Gotta know something's coming your way. There's the Roland Spirit Vessel onto the Morphling. Two man silence from GH. A separate Roland. That's going to be able to keep the Morphling controlled up. This Sunray, though, is delivering some nice healing, and that's going to be able to keep him alive. Now a Supernova to be able to draw the attention. The call goes out from DM with the Beastmaster and Kuro. They're going to focus on the egg, and it dies just in time. DM's going to be swept up in the tornado, stalled for a long time before he finally goes down to be in a really good spot. 
We'll roll in. Did manage to pop the strength more before he was hit by that. BKB gonna be activated oh. by Miracle. Nice two-man stun. The roll follow-up. They do manage to get the silence on his save, and he gets away. The Fiend's grip onto the side, stopped by the Brown Roar. The bait's gonna go down. The EMP is gonna burn out most of the FN's mana as well. The Morphling managed to roll over the Beastmaster to kill him, turns it into an Earth Spirit, and rolls away. Save, meanwhile. Scale and Alk. He has to be in a position to do so with Fawn. Call goes out. Axe up. intercepts onto the Invoker. They do manage to get the shotgun combination, but it's not enough to kill the Invoker by itself. The Spirit Siphon and the Crypt Swarm, that's going to be enough. The Supernova goes down. Miracle is able to quickly deal with that before turning his tension back into the rest of the Virtus Pro Prodigy with Prime Roar going out. A call from Axe. DM may just save that fence. Light the Exorcism going out, doing so much damage. But Miracle is just too damn big. He ignores that call. Ein's gonna go for the Fiend's Grip that will finish off the support, but an ultra kill for Miracle. And the words of Grand Grant, give him the rampage. Weha, don't do it. Let Miracle catch up somehow. He's not. He's he gives it. him the ice wall. He's slowing there's it. Yes. the <laughs> rampage, and there's the GG. I'm very anxious to see this one get underway, so why don't we throw it over to our commentary duo where we got Capitalist and God. Yes. It's pretty nuts, although well, Ein might snipe mm. it. GH does manage to slow their way. Ein does indeed snipe that troll, but is it going to cost him his life? An enchant, Ein, run down. That's going to be your first blood. Let's see Kuro probably get down some deep vision, maybe find some couriers. The courier is going out bottom, so he's going to miss that one. But back at top, Yell continuing to have this free lane. Oh, he didn't roll to the other side. Actually, Nail save instead stays on this side of the Fisher block. Devon in this bottom lane. Weeha, looking to be able to catch up, throws out the EMP. The uh, Nightmare will help dodge some of that damage, but he's still caught by Cold Snap. Ooh, GH is very fire safe. Oh man, that was really close. Ayn is the one to die though, not GH. Quas Wex Invoker, that is very difficult for Centaur. Whether it's EMP burning out, the Tornado interrupting your Stampede, whether it's a retreat or an initiation, DM's gonna pop it here to be able to kill Kuro. Mind control, getting this fast Necro 3 is the key timing. And I think VP Prodigy have also recognized that they're going to keep running at mind control whenever possible. And this time around, Invoker does not have a TP, still in cooldown, and he can't get there quick enough. We think we can kill Ein here, Boundless Strike, plus the Cold Snap Tornado to finish him off. That will bring him low. The Wolves will finish him off. We will secure their outpost, but not secure many bounties. They're on the hunt. A kick from GH slows down, save, save. Having such a hard time dealing with these cold snaps. Are they going to rotate? They surely are. With he used Doppelganger. He could certainly enchant, slow down Epileptic Kid. Epileptic Kid nailed by the kick as well. He's dead. A chase to save. All right, we're taking away GH. his title as the best PL player in the world. Yeah, this After isn't going one. well for him at all. Two-man Fisher slows down the pursuit, but not enough. Save's going to be caught eventually here, whether it's GH body blocking him or the Monkey King jumping on him. He'll go down eventually. Two or three times he got gone on top. We has there to keep him alive. Speaking of being gone on, DM forced to pop his stampede, but surrounded by Weeha. Cold Snap's going to slow him down. The tornado's going to intercept the heroes that are rotating in. So DM doesn't immediately die, but the Necronomicons and the Wolves will eventually nice catch grip. up to him. Really nice catch, though, from Ayn with the Fiend's Grip on to Weeha and a Fissure that blocks out GH. Unless he can get a nice roll away, he does not. He That's what Prodigy well. needed. Think they're going up to top lane, though. See if they can be able to south. They have the Nightmare onto my control. They're going to catch him with the Fiend's Grip as well. Looks like a silence coming out for the Death Prop. It will stop the Invoker from getting off any spells. The Wukong's Command creating hell for Miracle and the rest of Enigma as he tries to run around. Still so Jingo stacks, and he's going to try and go for FN, but he doesn't actually have the chance. This is way too much damage. And now the tick damage on Ayn. He's probably going to go down here, but Weeha goes walk at the last second. No, actually didn't quite get it off. And he's going to be run down by the Spirit Siphon and the... They're smoked up. They want to fight this one. They're going to get in there. FN throws out the silence, nice. hitting the invoke. That's a good start. Exorcism going out. Miracle is going to be able to get off of Wukong's command. At the same time, the big initiation from save. Look, that Echo Slam lays in the damage to finish off the like, but it's not good enough to finish off Miracle. They're still trying to complete up this Roshan. Epileptic in. Looking to be able to finish off Roshan. It finally falls, and they do manage to get the Aegis, but... It's a bit of a rough fight for Nygma on top of losing that Roshan to kick away while he's Nightmare. GH trying to save Weeha's life. Weeha tries to return the favor, but he's... Gonna be more around this Aegis expiring. Yeah. That to me is where they try to take their next team fight. 
They're thinking about actually turning on Epileptic Kid here. The tornado's gonna go out for right now. It's just creating space for Kuro. And it looks like Miracle, he's actually gonna jump into the back line here, be able to quickly kill save. And now the swarm comes in from Mind Control and GH. They surrounded Epileptic Kid. He's gonna dance to the right hand side, dodging that stun. DM is here to help break him out here of this fight. He still has the Aegis, but they don't feel good about this team fight. Miracle gets off Wukong's command that slows down DM. Nailed by GH. Epileptic Kid, the real one, does manage to get out. FN's gonna turn for the rest of these heroes in the back line as well. Epileptic Kid committing inside of the Wukong's command to try and kill GH, knowing that his extra life with the help of Ayn, they should be able to get a kill somewhere here. Yep, spam picking on that right hand side there. DM, I'm not sure what he's trying to say to his teammate. The physical damage of the monkey and the, all the Lycan summons. Yeah. Bane looking like a freebie <laughs> kill, but they will want to punish this. They certainly are. The Echo Slam lights on it too. DM with the follow up as well. Two of these heroes are just controlled up for epileptic to start laying into. Miracle's already going to be dying here. The Wukong command is not enough to save him. Not on that sliver of HP. The tornado trying to chase away some of these heroes, but epileptic kid sticking on to mind control with the Phantom Rush catching up to him. Now that mind control shapeshift has worn out, should manage to get this kill. Vengeance for DM as he was the one to fall in that fight. Weeha was able to walk away. Wrong long range fissure or a blink echoes we just saw. A double damage, a smoke out. They're going to be able to find Ayn here. <laughs> Poor Ayn. <laughs> He's yeah. constantly the, getting caught out just on these warding missions. I mean, they do still have that 10 second BKB for Miracles, so they should try and keep forcing this. The force staff goes out. It Two supports yeah, immediately buy back Miracle. Activating his BKB, but he's being gripped up right now. GH trying to get there. The stomp goes out, though. Ayn is still holding him. Miracle finally managed to get off his Wukong's command, and Ayn does eventually die here. But Miracle, he now can't really deal with anybody. They're all outside of his circle. They found Epileptic the Kid is being slowed down, though. The real Phantom Lancer's been found and brought down. Nigma, they finally win a fight. Can they do it a little bit more? They've already killed four different heroes with buybacks coming in. Now if they can sweep up the rest of these, this DM's now going to fall. Trade it out for GH. FN look to be slowed down. A boundless strike is there. Save. Look at interrupt. And Enchant Totem after Shock's done. On to two. A buyback from DM is here. This is getting messy. But Miracle might get caught up. A four step. Pushes the Centaur into position to be able to catch this Monkey King. And he goes down from the Fissure. Now turning a slow sleep from Kuro. And he is going to fall as well. A good fight for Nigma. That looks a little bad at the end. They're yep. losing Miracle. Enigma probably at this stage are far enough behind. They have no interest in fighting. Oh, Miracle. He's been found. Jumps off the tree. Doppelganger, Abyssal bladed up. Echo Slam coming in. Monkey King about to fall. The Fiend's grip in the back. And there it is. Miracle's dead. 70 seconds on the clock. At the same time, TM has managed to slow down my control. The stun up. A follow-up stun from Say. Now he's dead as well. Two cores are gone. Sunstrike. Oh, the nightmare. Oh, both supports die. That's a dieback for both of them here. And disarm his illusion as well but we'll find out because this team fights about to go down smoke for smoke the smoke breaks on a DM he knows that an invoker is nearby he blinks a little bit over to the side Kuro's gonna be swept up but the Phantom Launcher doesn't want him he wants Miracle all in on this hero Abyssal Bash Blade him. first now a bash up Miracle dropping low and fast he gets off the BKB Wukong's kid attempted there gets interrupted by the Fiend's grip and ultimately doesn't get anything off before he goes down now epileptic kid he has a free game just whoever they can grab should die here. A pushback with the deafening blast is not enough to be able to save Weeha. Once again, two cores die. Doppelganger to the high ground here. This no is exorcism. maybe an opportunity. They want to fight. Yeah, they may just be able to get two, but they need to be able to save. Oh, no! Weeha! He got too close to the Phantom Lancer. Wukong's man, it goes out and quickly deals with save the Earthshaker. But what about this Phantom Lancer in the back line? She is going to try and deal with him and push Kuro out of here. But Miracle's now being run down. He pops the BKB, but a bash could spell the end of him. He's trying to get away. A Phantom Rush, there's the bash, and he's quickly surrounded. Miracle dies. No buyback for him. Now this is just silly, says Epileptic Kid, thinking to himself, this game's over. You guys just need to G. I'm gonna try, but he's yeah, so tanky. Emphasis on try, I think. I can't see this going well, especially how close Prodigy is. A nice two-man fish to the follow-up. Echo Slam with a stomp on top. We hot intercepts with the three-man tornado. Wukong Span going up. No, Miracle decides to cancel it, but now as he jumps down to the trees, he's swept up by Apple up to Kid and Ayn off his feet and potentially out of the game. I'm really hoping Weeha can just stall for that 20 seconds needed for this Lycan and Monkey to respawn, but one of them buys oh, back. The four second doppelganger cooldown means he can blow this whenever he wants. They don't have an answer to him. He's just able to freely waltz in, abyssal blades, and kills Weeha. FN controlling up the back lines here, making sure this wolf does not get too far out of control, that he won't be able to kill 
all the backline heroes here. Mind Control is being chased. Trying to get away with the Phantom Rush. It allows him to be able to keep step with Mind Control. And one bash is all it takes to be able to follow up with the rest of their stuns. No buyback for Mind Control Enigma. Now left to fight in a three versus five. Attempts to get off another Wukong's command, but goddamn Prodigy. They are on his nuts this game, and they ain't stepping off here. Enigma, he might as well play the rest of this game inside the fountain. It's GH and Weeha. They're going to watch their tier fours die as they call GG. 37 to 34. Prodigy, though.